Hadramat, Hadramat, Hadramaut, Hadramat or Hadramat Arabic, Hadirm Hadramat, Musnad, is a region on the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula. The name is officially retained in Hadramat Governorate of the Republic of Yemen. The people of Hadramat are called Hadrami and speak Hadrami Arabic. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The origin of the name, Hadramat is not exactly known, and there are numerous competing hypotheses about its meaning. The most common folk etymology is that the region's name means, Death has come, from Hadar, Hadara, Arabic for, He came, and Mute, Mat, Death, though there are multiple explanations for how it came to be known as such. One explanation is that this is a nickname of Amar ibn Qatan, a legendary invader of the region, whose battles always left many dead. Another theory is that after the destruction of Thamud, the Islamic prophet Salah relocated himself and about 4,000 of his followers to the region and it was there that he died, thus lending the region its morbid name, Death Has Come. A third related etymology posits that Hadur refers to the inhabitants of the area, themselves, and hints that the way of life of the ancient Hadrami people was severe and ascetic in the eyes of the bordering kingdoms situated in today's North Yemen. Hadramat is also identified with Biblical Hazarmavit Biblical Hebrew, Hazarmavit Genesis chapter 10 verse 26 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 20. There, it is the name of a son of Joktan who is also identified with Katan, the ancestor of the South Arabian kingdoms. According to various Bible dictionaries, the name, Hazarmavit, means, court of death, reflecting a meaning similar to the Arabic folk etymologies. Scholarly theories of the name's origin are somewhat more varied, but none have gained general acceptance. Juris Zarens, rediscoverer of the city claimed to be the ancient incense root trade capital Ubar in Oman, suggested that the name may come from the Greek word hydriamata hydriamata, or enclosed and often fortified watering stations at wadis. In a Nova interview, he described Ubar as a kind of fortress, administration center set up to protect the water supply from raiding Bedouin tribes. Surrounding the site, as far as six miles away, were smaller villages, which served as small-scale encampments for the caravans. An interesting parallel to this are the fortified water holes in the eastern desert of Egypt from Roman times. There, they were called Hydriamata. Though it accurately describes the configuration of settlements in the pre-Islamic Wadi Hadramat, this explanation for the name is anachronistic and has gained no wider scholarly acceptance. Already in the pre-Islamic period, variations of the name are attested as early as the middle of the first millennium BC. The names Hadirpt, and Hadirm, are found in texts of the Old South Arabian languages Hadramitic, Minaic, Katabanic, and Sabaic, though the second form is not found in any known Hadramitic inscriptions. In either form, the word itself can be a toponym, a tribal name, or the name of the kingdom of Hadramat. In the late 4th or early 3rd century BC, Theophrastus gives the name Adramida, a direct transcription of the Semitic name into Greek. As southern Arabia is the homeland of the South Semitic language subfamily, a Semitic origin for the name is highly likely. Kamal Salabi proposed an alternative etymology for the name which argues that the diphthong ah in the name is an incorrect vocalization. He notes that ut is a frequent ending for place names in the Hadramat, and given that Hadramat is the colloquial pronunciation of the name, and apparently also its ancient pronunciation, the correct reading of the name should be place of Hadurm. He proposes, then, that the name means the green place, which is apt for its well-watered wadis whose lushness contrasts with the surrounding high desert plateau. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Narrowly, Hadramat refers to the historical Qaiti and Kathiri Sultanates, which were in the Aden Protectorate overseen by the British resident at Aden until their abolition upon the independence of South Yemen in 1967. The current governorate of Hadramat roughly incorporates the former territory of the two sultanates it consists of a narrow, arid coastal plain bounded by the steep escarpment of a broad plateau Al -Jal, averaging 1,370 metres 4 feet, with a very sparse network of deeply sunk wadis seasonal watercourses. The undefined northern edge of Hadramat slopes down to the desert empty quarter. In a wider sense, Hadramat includes the territory of Mara to the east all the way to the contemporary border with Oman. 
This encompasses the current governorates of Hadramat and Mara in their entirety as well as parts of the Shabwa governorate. The Hadramis live in densely built towns centered on traditional watering stations along the wadis. Hadramis harvest crops of wheat and millet, tend date palm and coconut groves, and grow some coffee. On the plateau, Bedouin tend sheep and goats. Society is still highly tribal, with the old Sayyid aristocracy, descended from the Islamic prophet, Muhammad, traditionally educated and strict in their Islamic observance and highly respected in religious and secular affairs. <laughs> Hadrami diaspora Since the early 19th century, large-scale Hadramat migration has established sizable Hadrami minorities all around the Indian Ocean, in South Asia, Southeast Asia and East Africa including Hyderabad, Aurangabad, Bhatkal, Gangoli, Malabar, Silhet, Malay Archipelago, Sri Lanka, Southern Philippines and Singapore. In Hyderabad and Aurangabad, the community is known as Chash and resides mostly in the neighborhood of Barkas. There are also settlements of Hadrami in Gujarat, such as in Ahmedabad and Surat. In older history, several sultans in Malay archipelago, such as Sultanate of Malacca, Sultanate of Pontianak or Sultanate of Siak Indrapura, were descents of Hadrami. In 19th century, Hadrami businessmen owned many of maritime armada of barks, bridges, schooners and other ships in Malay archipelago. In modern time, several Indonesian ministers, including former Foreign Minister Ali Alatas and former Finance Minister Mary Muhammad are of Hadrami descent, as is the former Prime Minister of East Timor, Mari al 2006. Hadramis have also settled in large numbers along the East African coast, and two former ministers in Kenya, Sharif Nasser and Najib Balala, are of Hadrami descent. Genetic evidence has linked the Lemba people, an African Jewish community of Zimbabwe and South Africa, to the people of the Hadramit region. Among the Hadramit region there has been a historical Jewish population, suggesting both religious and ethnic continuity between Hadramis and the Lemba. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history of Hadramat The Kaiti sultans ruled the vast majority of Hadramat, under a loose British protectorate, the Aden Protectorate, from 1882 to 1967, when the Hadramat was annexed by South Yemen. The Kaiti dynasty was founded by Umar bin Awad al Kaiti, a Yafai tribesman whose wealth and influence as hereditary gemadar of the Nizam of Hyderabad's armed forces enabled him to establish the Kaiti dynasty in the latter half of the 19th century, winning British recognition of his paramount status in the region. In 1882, the British government and the traditional and scholarly Sultan Ali bin Salah signed a treaty in 1937 appointing the British government as advisors. In Hadramat, the British exiled him to Aden in 1945, but the protectorate lasted until 1967. In 1967, the former British colony of Aden and the former Aden protectorate including Hadramat became an independent communist state, the People's Republic of South Yemen, later the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen. South Yemen was united with North Yemen in 1990 as the Republic of Yemen. See History of Yemen for recent history. The capital and largest city of Hadramat is the port Mukalla. Mukalla had a 1994 population of 122,400 and a 2003 population of 174,700, while the port city of Ash Shir has grown from 48,600 to 69,400 in the same time. One of the more historically important cities in the region is Tarim. An important locus of Islamic learning, it is estimated to contain the highest concentration of descendants of the Prophet Muhammad anywhere in the world. Economy Historically, Hadramat was known for being a major producer of frankincense, which was mainly exported to Mumbai in the early 20th century. The region has also produced senna and coconut. Currently, Hadramaut produces approximately 260,000 barrels of oil per day. One of the most productive fields is Al Masila in the Strip 14, which was discovered in 1993. The Yemeni government is keen to develop its oil fields to increase oil production in order to increase national wealth in response to the requirements of economic and social development in the country. 
Oil contributes 30 to 40 percent of the nation's GDP, over 70 percent of total state revenues, and more than 90 percent of the value of the country's exports. Topic. See also. Arab Indonesians, Arab Singaporeans, Arab Malaysians, Arabs in India. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Architecture of Mud, documentary film about the rapidly disappearing mud brick architecture in the Hadramaut region. Nova Special on Ubar, illustrating a Hydrayuma Book review of a biography of Kaiti Sultan Alan Din Salah Hadrami migration in the 19th and 20th centuries Bob' Alawi. Kam Ba Alawi, the definitive resource for Islam and the Alawian ancestry.